a bat. A wolf's head. A crab. Death. Death. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I stopped living at the same time Jason did. When that car ran into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? No. No. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's going to send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Do you want to eat something? A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? Dad. Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you've got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Now... 
through it. I did it! I did it, Dad! Good job, Sean. See? That wasn't so hard. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! Come on, Dad! Make me fly! <laughs> what about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! Training for astronauts, though. <laughs> hmm. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. One, please. That's a dollar.
Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. I'm off, Charlie, and I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain, Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. 
Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out, and the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case? I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We've bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay, time to work. Step one, change the office.
Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned in rainwater. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo-profiling any easier. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm and determined, an organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Just one origami store in town. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. 